hi youtube world welcome back to another video if you're a returning subscriber welcome back if you're new here welcome i hope you join our little community by clicking that little subscribe button down there so today i want to talk about a financial literacy 101 like beginner phase and um for me financial literacy is something that is so close to my heart because i think a lot of life decisions boils down to money decision guys don't let them lie to you like money is important so i think which is why it's important for all of us to have like financial education though our education system especially if you're from tanzania as i am our education system is just like a joke and which is why i'm bringing to you this video i hope it's helpful and i hope it helps you in a way or two so most of the lessons that i'll be sharing are from this book i recommend this book to like all the friends that i know so i recommend this video to like literally everyone that i know like most of my friends have recommended this book to them because i think this is a good starting point for anyone wanting to know like financial literacy and stuff and the way the story in this book is told is told in a very engaging way that even if you don't like non-fiction books you can easily read this it's told in like a story manner and then this the lessons are also like gems it's like everything in one yeah that's how i describe this book so i'll just share a few lessons that i've learned from the book that i think they just like oh they're like the essence of financial literacy all right let's get into it babylon was in a place where it had no fertile land they had no like sources of water and all that like most things in babylon were man-made and babylon grew out to be like one of the richest cities in the world so i think that just tells us it, it has like a lot of relativeness with our own lives like in most cases we have to make things for ourselves like you cannot sit and wait to be born in a rich family like you're already here so you have to make things work for you you know right which is where the story of Babylon is kind of like relative to us in this world also like sometimes because people people use this like lame excuse like oh i'm not from a rich family i can do this and this oh my family oh no i think that's just all bullshit i think in most cases there is a percentage of things that we can do to better our own lives and you cannot blame everything in your life to other people like that's like giving out a hundred percent control to somebody else like to some degree yes the family that we are born in the environment that we are in and everything else somehow affects the results that we get in our life but i think it's not okay to just give in to that and just like accept everything as it comes i think we also need to be willing to work for things as babylon had worked for their city to be the rich city so yeah with that being said, I will start sharing the lessons from the book and I hope they help you. So tip number one is to have a source of income as you know, like with financial independence, financial interest, whatever. A good place to start is to have something incoming, you know, like fattening your purse. So you have to have a certain kind of ill flow coming in to be able to implement most of other financial tips you know because things like savings you can save anything if you're not earning anything you know like if you have zero income it's so hard to save unless otherwise it, maybe if you have like allowance or something you could save from that as well but it's yeah that is that is also an income it's an allowance and income though it is yeah I, I don't know man but yeah you get the point the first step is you have to you need to have an income as in you need to have some money flowing into your account and if you have income flowing in your account and you think it's not enough for you to live on that alone you just get another source of income you know like they say like multiple streams of income i think there are a lot of ways i could do that today but that's a video for another day let me know if you want me to do a video like that for multiple streams of income that we could do in tanzania markets and i'll look into that but yeah so that's the first step increase your income or get a source of income that's tip number one tip number two control your expenses like i know we both like and differently and we are in different places in our lives in our careers whatever but it's important to control your expenses 
And if you can, you could find like a budgeting system that works for you. There is this like 20, 30, 50 budgeting rule where you save some of that and then you have 50% to spend on your needs, yeah? So it's just controlling your expenses. But a key point in controlling your expenses is to make sure that you're not denying yourself the pleasures of life. Because yes, you have to control your expenses, but in the midst of it all, make sure that you're living well. Like, if you're controlling, you are diminishing your expenses to the point that you're denying yourself joy, that's not it. It's not it. Because you're supposed to make sure that you can fulfill everything that you need, but not unnecessarily getting the things that you don't necessarily need. I hope that makes sense. But you don't have to deny yourself the sense of shame because the point of this all is to give you the life that you would love and the life that you would enjoy, yeah. So if you're taking yourself, like you're controlling your expenses to the point that you're not, you're not having fun with your own life, that's not it. So that's another key point in controlling expenses. So tip number three, I would say, is having a budget. This goes hand in hand with like, controlling your expenses but having a budget is more like making sure that you know where your money is going because sometimes when you get money guys money can find somewhere to go yes like in most cases you, you just you know like when you feel like you have money and then out of nowhere you don't have money and you don't get anything yeah that thing i think that usually happens when you don't have a budget so a budget then will help you uh downstream your money to the right places where you want it to go especially because the controlling expenses that we're talking about here is not the control your expenses that will deny you of happiness so you just have to make your budget with the income that you're having of course make sure that you make your budget in a way that you can fulfill your basic needs you can still get to yourself a few ones that are for just giving you pleasure and also on but you still have a percentage served, you know. Yeah, and then you could even like budget for emergencies and all of that. Especially within like African families, I think it's important to budget for expenses. I mean to budget for emergencies and be true to yourself to not exceed spending beyond your emergency money. So another thing I'll say like finding ways to multiply your money or investing in ways that your money could earn more money is the next step. So with it's one thing to save, but it's another thing to like have the money multiply itself because especially right now with the banking industry, you know, it's just so mm -mm. like the interest rates are just not giving. They are not giving. So I Previously, I myself, like, I used to sell with, like, banks and stuff. And I know the advantages of saving at the bank, like, the liquidity and all that, like, I know. But if you look at inflation rates, and then if you look at bank rates, they're, just, they're not even competing, like, mm -mm. so, for me, and this is a person who, I don't have, like, I don't need a lot of liquidity because I don't have, uh, at the moment, I don't have any existing active business that I would love to like run my biz my money on or anything. So I have different accounts for both because I know with savings, I need liquidity so that when I need the money, I could get that. And GTT, they have this liquidity account where you could get your money in three days. And I think for me, that's okay. Like I can work with that because they have good trades and you could get your, you could easily get your money so i would advise that especially if you're not looking for liquidity you're just looking forward to to have your money at a place where it's safe and it's multiplying itself so i would advise utt and i'll have their link down below if you want to look into them it's a good it's a good initiative i'll say also with like investment utt is also good for investment as well especially in the Tanzanian market. Apparently in Tanzania, we don't have any other mutual fund. We just have UTT. So you could just hook into it. And they're doing pretty great. Like their financial reports are good. They're decent. And I've been selling with them for a while right now. And I have my investment there for a while. And I've never had any issues. 
So to recap the video, I'll say some of the essential things that we need to know are one is you need to have like a source of income, but if the income that you have right now is not sufficient, you need to look for ways to like earn an extra source of income. And there are a lot of ways that you could do that, especially with this digital age, there are a lot of ways. Let me know if you want to make a video of that down below. And then number two is you have to control your expenses, but make sure that you're, you're controlling your expenses to a point to your content. And then another thing that is very close to that, I would say is having a budget. So look for different budget ways which one could work for you. There's this 20, 30, 50 principle and there are a lot of other budgeting ways. And the good thing about budgeting is that you're, you're controlling where your money is going. You will no longer have that problem of like, oh, I had, mo I had money, I don't know where it's going. I Mm -mm. at least this time you know you know where your money is going and then you have that room to evaluate like is this where i want my money to go or not so like always have a budget and then within the budget make sure you're saving and so like with each and every paycheck that you get make sure there's a, a part that is saved and so essentially it does not matter how much you save no, because i know we're paid differently and we are different places in our career and our lives and so on so just have like a percentage let's say you're saving 20 percent of your pay or like 10 percent even if it's 10k or it's 20k that you're saving every month it's worth it and i know like utt they have accounts that you could start investing even with like 10k and this remember that this many compounds over time so take advantage of opportunities like this you know yeah that being said also make sure that you look for ways to multiply your money, especially especially if you have savings. Don't just let your savings sit idle and decrease in value and all that. So either make them work for you if you want to invest them in something or look for accounts that you're going to put them in that those accounts have like good interest rates or especially if they have compounding interest rates, which is good, that is even going to be working for you like double shift. So that's it for this video guys and these are just like on the surface kind of knowledge when it comes to like financial literacy and i thought this is just like a good place to start let me know if you would want like an in-depth video on financial literacy and stuff like that and there is this other book called the psychology of money where they went in depth with like a lot of these financial decisions and stuff and how people go around financial making financial decisions and all that and how you could like use all this knowledge to your advantage and i hope this video is useful for you and i hope you've gained one or two things and if you have any other wishes don't hesitate to leave them down below and i'll get to them as i can thank you guys for watching bye bye ciao ciao adios <laughs>